So in this problem, what we're going to be doing is converting this field, its dimensions from meters into feet and then into inches. So what we're going to do is go from meters into feet, and we're also going to go from meters into inches. So how do we do that? So the way we're going to do it is by using conversion factors. And the way you do it is, or the first thing you need to know is a few conversions, which are how many feet are in a meter. So you need to know that there are, or for every one meter, there's going to be equal to 3.281 feet. And then how many feet are in an inch? So, or sorry, how many inches are there per foot? So there are 12 inches for every single one foot. So these are the two conversions we're going to use to solve this. So what we're going to say is that this is the length and then this is the width. So yeah, let's just start with the length first though. So what we're going to do is convert the length into meters or into feet and then into inches. So we know that's going to be 115 meters. So what you want to do is just write it out like this. And then what we're going to do is multiply it by its conversion. So we're going to go to feet first. And so since meters is on the top, you want to put the meter conversion on the bottom. So one meter is equal to how many feet? 3.281 feet. And when you write it like this, these are going to cancel, and then you're going to have the correct unit. So 150, uh, 115 times 3.281 is going to give it to you in feet. So what you want to do is go ahead and do this. So 115 times 3.281. And so when you do that, you're going to get it equals 377.315, and then it's in feet. So feet long. So this is its length. So keep that in mind. And so now that we have the feet, what we want to do is put it in inches. So once again, we're going to convert from feet into inches because we know that conversion. So what we want to do is just write our value out right here, 377.315. And this is in feet. And so we're going to do the same thing here, but with feet in inches. So feet is on top. So we want to put one foot and then it's going to be equal to 12 inches. So now the feet will cancel. And if we multiply by 12, it's going to give it to us in inches. So I actually put a decimal here, ignore that. So it's 377, sorry about that, 377.315. So just multiply by 12. So when you go ahead and do that, you're going to get that it equals 4527.78. And then this is going to be inches long. So this is going to be the length of the field in feet and inches. So now let's go ahead and do the width. So what we're going to do is do the same exact thing, uh, but just with uh, this value instead. So 85 meters, we want to convert it into feet. So we know that there are 3.281 feet for every one meter. The meters will cancel. And then if you multiply by this, you'll just get the feet. So 85 times 3.281. If you go ahead and do that, you're going to get 278.88 five and then this is going to be feet and then keep in mind this is the width so feet wide and so now that we've got the feet let's just do the same thing we did here so it'll be 278.885 this is feet and we're converting from feet to inches so we know that there's one foot for every 12 inches the feet will cancel and it'll convert to inches so take this value multiply it by 12 and when you go ahead and do that you're going to get it equals 3346.62. So 3346.62. And then this is going to be in inches. And then keep in mind this is the width. So wide. So these are going to be your values. This is going to be uh, the length, right, in feet and then inches. And then the width in feet and then inches. So these are going to be your answers. And hopefully you found this useful.